Hey, 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 it's Andy again with another exciting episode with the YouTube Marketing Miniseries. It's finally time to put all that hard researching work to good use. In this video, I'll reveal some core methods to getting your video visible and ranking within YouTube search engine, which is otherwise known as search engine YouTube optimization. Now, just note that there's no way I can actually guarantee your rankings as there are many factors involved, both internally and externally. What I will walk you through are the best practices that are within our control, which are internally. Other factors that are out of our control include viewer retention, average watch time, engagement, and so on. This will be determined by your video and how well you did your research. That's why previously I mentioned that research could make or break your YouTube success. As well as ranking, in this video I'll also discuss about monetizing your YouTube videos and some tips to increase your click-through rates resulting in more money in your pocket. So without further ado, let me hop over to my computer and let's get started. Okay, so to actually rank our videos on YouTube, you'll need to actually be able to optimize your videos. Now the term optimization is more or less used in, uh, in the YouTube context, targeting certain keywords. And now this is where you're going to actually pull out all that information that you got from your research videos. So all those keywords that you put together and all have it in a notepad, this is where it's going to come in handy. So when it actually comes to ranking on YouTube, there are a few factors. So firstly, the targeted keyword. All right, if you don't actually put your keyword anywhere within your video, you're not going to be able to rank for that video, period. Of course, you will rank for synonyms of it, but to really enhance your chances to actually rank within the YouTube search engines, you really need to have your keywords as many places as you can. And no, I don't mean to just like randomly stuff it in there. I mean in certain areas. So for example, in your video file name, so before you even upload your video onto YouTube, you wanna make sure that you rename your file to your certain keyword. Since there's no way for YouTube to actually understand what your video is really about, or be able to actually read the context within your video, uh, so you wanna make it as easy as possible for YouTube to understand what your video is about. And so changing your file name definitely helps. All right, uh, every time I shoot a video with Camtasia and uh, I don't rename it, it saves as Capture One. All right, that's gonna tell YouTube nothing. All right, you wanna kinda point them in the right direction and explain you know, what your video is about. So it's really important to actually rename that file, okay? So just click on that file, right click it, click on rename, and then what you wanna do is enter your keyword. The next place you actually wanna have your keywords is within the title. Now the title is gonna be one of the most important areas for YouTube optimization. So you wanna make sure you have your keyword within your title, along with any long tail keywords there possible. And so what I mean, what I mean by long tail keywords is just longer search terms. So you know how I gave you all those prefixes and suffixes? like the best, compare, top, review. You wanna add as many of them as possible within your title. And the reason why we wanna do this is just so that it increases your chances for ranking for other search terms, not just the one. And when you actually write your title on YouTube, YouTube is quite lenient on you know how long your title can be, so just you wanna make sure that you use it all up. Now next is your description, and this is what's right under the video. Now you want your description to be at least 200 words, and all you need to write within your description is what the video is about. So think of it as if you had to write an article on that video that you just shot, what would it look like in text? And then any chance that you get, you wanna place your keywords in where it makes sense, right? Don't just put it randomly just for the sake of it. You wanna make sure that it actually makes sense. Otherwise, you might actually do more harm than good. And then lastly, you'll have a section where you can actually insert tags. Now how tags work is just, again, it's like search terms as well. So you wanna give YouTube a sense of direction about what your video is about. So any kind of little words that you can actually add in to those tags that, that people can actually find your video, that would help. And here's where you wanna put as many synonyms as you can. But there's also a really great trick that you can actually use to find out the videos that are already ranking, what kind of tags are they using, so that you can actually piggyback off them. Now this is not the complete ranking factor that YouTube takes into account. This is just everything that it's within our control. Everything else is gonna depend on the users, so the, how they actually, actually interact with your video, and then as well as engagement. So whether they leave comments, shares, subscribes, and likes. Now, if you're trying to rank for a certain keyword, and if a user actually types in that search term and finds your video and they land on your video, if for whatever reason they leave your video within the next 10 seconds, that's gonna definitely damage your rankings. So you wanna make sure that your keywords are specific to your video, and not make it some, something completely absurd just so that you can actually get those views because it actually will damage you. Now, a really great trick to increase your views once you start ranking on YouTube is to make your thumbnails really stand out. And this is really important. Not only is it gonna help you with your click-through rates, which is the amount of people actually seeing your video and gonna click on it, 
it's going to also increase views as well. So make sure that you actually do create your own thumbnails and not let YouTube pick your thumbnails. Because let's face it, a robot can't really pick out really good thumbnails for you. Because if you don't actually manually change your thumbnails, what happens is YouTube is just going to find three different snippets of your video and then they're just going to use one of them as your thumbnail. So the trick to actually make your thumbnail stand out is to make sure your text is nice and big so they can actually read your title. And then you want to use colors that really just stand out. And so what I really like to use is the color red or something really bright. So don't actually underestimate the power of thumbnails. Because again, if people aren't clicking onto your video, no one's ever going to actually see your video. Now when it actually comes to making money off your YouTube videos, I've already kind of mentioned this very briefly in a few other videos. One of the methods is actually becoming a partner of YouTube and allowing them to place ads on your videos so that you can get paid. Now depending on how many views that you actually get, if you don't get really many views, you won't exactly make much off that video. But if you can consistently get 100,000 views every time you upload it, now that's a whole different story. Of course, that's not the only way you can actually make money from YouTube videos. Other methods include launch jacking, and this is pretty much affiliate marketing. Whenever new products are coming on the market, they usually go through a phase where they want to launch it to the marketplace. Right? They want to generate as much buzz as they can, get as many people who help them promote it, and just push those sales straight off the gate. And so how we're actually going to benefit from this is that people are going to start using search engines to find out more about that product. And if they actually land on your video, this is where you actually have the potential to make money off that product. Of course, it doesn't have to actually be during a launch period. You can actually do this for any kind of affiliate product, whether it's a product from ClickBank or CPA offer. But just make sure that if you do put any links within your description, make sure it's the very top line of your YouTube description. As you can see, the description will only show you three lines. So it's really important that you have your link at the very top because that's going to help you increase your click through rates. Okay. If you're going to have your link all the way down here, that's one extra step that they have to do. So, you know, out of those 100,000 people, how many people you reckon will actually click show more and then will click a link? Opposed to, you know, watch a video and the link's just there. They're more inclined to click on the link than actually show more and then, you know, click a link somewhere at the bottom. That way that you'll benefit most from the click through rates and that they don't have to actually click on show more to actually see your affiliate link. By putting it on the very top line, it's always going to be exposed and that's always going to generate you the most click-through rates. Also, if you can actually shorten that URL or cloak it using tinyurl or another program, then you should. It just looks more professional and you don't want to have something that looks like an affiliate link because people are going to get scared to actually click on it. And that's only affiliate marketing side of things. Otherwise, if you do have your own business already and you just want to further brand yourself using YouTube, then you know, always sending them back to your website is going to be the best trick. And there you have it. Those were my foundations to getting my YouTube videos, climbing up the ranks within YouTube. Like I said earlier, there's no way I can actually say for sure that you will rank. What we did though is just making it easier for YouTube to understand our content and point them in the right direction. I mean, the chosen keywords could have plenty of competition, making it very hard to make it to the top spot. But if you follow along and use a variety of keywords within that video, you'll have a higher chance for ranking for longer tail keywords. Then it's entirely up to your video to deliver an engaging and valuable message to the viewer. The more views and engagement that your video gets, the higher it will climb. Now this is only for ranking within YouTube search engine. If you wanted to know how to rank on Google search engine, then be sure to watch the next episode. This is where we discuss the core differences and how to actually enhance your video's likelihood to rank on the big G. So head over there when you're ready and I'll talk to you soon.